25 years ago, I sold my soul to the devil to become a corporate executive. I quit it all to play the blues. My name is Tom the Suit Force, and this is Chasing the Blues. Lord was a gal, she was 16, he jammed it in, won't listen to a dream, the Lord was a dream, dream those 17, she's a dreamy gal, dreamy gal I ever seen. Hey everyone. Welcome to a very special episode of ChasingTheBluesPodcast.com. That was the great John Estes, and today, in a very special format, we're going to be talking about him. I ask you listeners to leave comments on social media to tell us if you do like this new format. We're going to be mixing it up with more feature interviews and special segments in the weeks ahead. Meanwhile, I just want to give a great shout-out to... Joy O Petals. They have uh, sponsored this show, and we're going to be talking about a special giveaway from Joy O Petals in the next podcasts. So uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we are going to talk about the great John Estes. That was a song that he wrote called Little Laura Blues, and I will be playing the complete song at the end of this podcast. So stay tuned for that. They called him. Sleepy John Estes. And uh, the reason for that, some say, was because he had uh, blood pressure disorder or narcolepsy. Um, But he said that it was because he was a farmer during the day and a musician at night. And he would get up early in the morning and tend to his farm. And then uh, he would go out and play at night. To me, that's uh, more likely. Sleepy was born January 25th in Ripley, Tennessee, around 1899. Uh, No one is sure. Many said his voice was akin to crying, and that became his claim to fame. Another distinctive feature of his voice that he sounded like an old man throughout his career. He recorded on some great records. Um, He recorded on Decca. He recorded on Bluebird Records. In 1935, John Estes recorded and released the songs Drop Down Mama, which I'm going to play for you now. I bet you'll be able to hear the voice that we've just been talking about. My old lady coming down the line, she was low in the front, she was Bolly behind Believe I drop down Oh, I don't feel welcome now Now I'm gonna get me a woman for the brain you ain't coming now Went to the barber shop to get me a shine set Go away, dog, it to that door down the line Drop down. I don't feel welcome now. Now I'm gonna get me a woman for the brain new and coming now. Now old lady hey, jog on mine say, go away, son, you can't play the line, leave our drop down. Welcome now. Now I'm gonna get me a woman for that brand new and coming now. Yeah. 
What a great song, what a great voice. So pure, so natural, so real. It's so funny, when I go into the studio, there's no less than three microphones on my guitar and uh, one or two microphones on my voice, and yet I'm very sure that uh, he did this live in the studio with one mic, and man, that's a sound you cannot duplicate. Many of Sleepy's original songs were based on events in his life or people that he knew in his hometown, which is uh, Brownsville. Uh, One example is a local lawyer. Uh, The song is called Lawyer Clark Blues. Uh, Another one's about a local mechanic. Um, There's one about an amorous time that he spent with a teenage girl, and that song is Little Laura Blues. In the lawyer song, Lawyer Clark Blues, is about a lawyer and later a judge who, as he says, led him off the hook for an offense. So that's kind of interesting. His rise to blues fame was sweet but short, uh, while Estes had a few hits and singles that were well-known for the blues community. His career came to an abrupt pause when in the late 30s, Sleepy went completely off the radar. Blues historians did track him down uh, in 1962. Sleepy was completely blind and living in poverty. Lucky for us, uh, Sleepy came back into the spotlight around 1964 when he played at the 5th Annual Newport Folk Festival in Rhode Island. He played uh, almost a half-hour set alongside his old friend Yank Ratchel. Unfortunately... He died of a stroke while preparing a European tour on June 5th, 1977 at his home in Brownsville, Tennessee. His grave marker reads, Sleepy John Estes, ain't going to worry poor John's mind anymore. In memory of John Adam Estes, January 25th, 1899 to June 5th, 1977. Blues pioneer guitarist songwriter, poet. As I'd mentioned before, this is a new format, and giving that, I wanted to go back and play one of the songs that I had mentioned about, about an, uh, a lawyer who got him out of a pretty heavy fix. So this song is called Lawyer Clark Blues. Got office in town, resident out on Seventy Road. He got a nice little lake right inside the grove. Boy, you know I like Miss Clark. Yes, he really is my friend. He said if I just spare the grain, he see that I won't go to the pen. Miss Clark is a lawyer His younger brothers too When the battle get hard He tell him just what to do Boy, you know I like Miss Clark Yes, you know he is my friend He said if I just be out the grave He see that I won't go to the pen He lied for the rich, he lied for the poor, 
He don't try to rob nobody Just bring along a little dough Boy, you know I like this clock Yes, he really is my friend He said if I just stay out the grain He said that I won't go to the pen Now, once I got in trouble You know I was gonna take a ride He didn't let it reach the cold house He kept it on the outside Boy, you know I like Miss Clark Yes, he really is my friend He said if I just stay out the graveyard Oh, John, I see you won't go to the pen Now, nah, Miss Clark is a good lawyer He good at our scene He's the first man that proved that Water run up steam But you know I like Miss Clark Yes, he really is my friend He said if I just stay out the grain Oh, John, I see you won't go to the pen That was Lawyer Clark Blues. I hope you have enjoyed this new format. As I said before, we're going to be mixing this up with our usual fare of interviewing famous and uprising stars in the blues world. So uh, we will be trying this again, and I hope you can go on our social media and tell us what you do think about it. As promised, I'm going to play... The song that I started off with, and I just played a snippet, so here it is, Little Laura Blues. Little Laura was a gal, she was 16, and Jamie didn't want to listen to a dream. Little Laura was a dream, dream those seven dreams. She's the dreamest gal, dreamest gal I ever seen. Now she dreamed she was gone with the man next door. She dreamed she was kissing it all, oh, oh, oh. She dreamed she was riding tall man on a moped. She's the dreamest gal, dreamest gal I ever seen. Now she dreamed she was set in the grass by the mill. She dreamed she had take me from the gal on the hill. The love was a dream. Most all her dream fulfilled. She the dream is gal, dream is gal I ever seen. She dreamed I was hogging her close to my breath. She told Jimmy that much a dream, but she wouldn't tell the rest. Lord, what a dream. She dreamed those seven dreams. She the dreamest gal, dreamest gal I ever seen. Now she dream about loving from kisses on down. She the dreamest gal. For miles around, the Lord was a dream. Most all our dream come true. She had dream all about loving, and she know that what to. Thank you, everybody, for listening to Chasing the Blues podcast. Listen to the upcoming series where we are going to be talking about a free giveaway from Joyo Pedals. Really great pedals. 
and uh, we'll be talking about that. So stay tuned for that. ChasingTheBluesPodcast.com. Take care. Chasing the Blues is recorded at Factory Underground Studios in Norwalk, Connecticut. You can learn more about Factory Underground at FactoryUndergroundStudio.com. And connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tom the Suit Forced. You can find my music, tour dates, merch, and more on TomTheSuitForce.com. Thank you for listening. Stroke the guitar neck that